uh, active user base um, uh, in the in the ten thousands. Um, if you start uh, filling uh, the sum of all human knowledge in the form of items, in the form of structured data, um, in a database that can be collaboratively edited, um, you get uh, the bonus of uh, asking questions uh, to that sum of all human knowledge. And uh, we do this with querying, uh, with uh, the Sparkle query language that we use on, on Wikidata, and uh, we can, for instance, uh, ask about uh, airports and uh, uh, ask about airports that were named after a person and color code them by gender and Wikidata will generate a map out of that. We can ask for the members of the current British Parliament who have ancestors that are identified as possibly mythical. Uh, locations of Disney movies, uh, average duration of movies by genre in year, and you see we have another visualization that is uh, just comes out of the query service. Uh, we can ask for plants that have an emoji, uh, families who've had the same occupation for five generations, lots of politicians in there, um, countries that uh, have flags that include a sun. Um, or we can have a visualization up, uh, of software titles ranked by the number of readable file formats. So if uh, in doubt, open something in Mathematica, I, 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 su uh, I suppose. Um, paintings by Vermeer that are depicting maps, so uh, things that are inside a painting, you can query for cause of death of members of noble families and visualize that. Um, surprisingly many fall down, uh, falling down from a horse, uh, trees grown from seeds that went around the moon, um, or heads of states that have an adish number. Uh, and all of these queries are possible once you structure um, the knowledge of the world and put it in Wikidata. Since uh, we're talking about libraries here at uh, the LD4 conference, um, you already have your collection of structured data. You as uh, libraries uh, um, collect uh, your knowledge, be it in the form of, of catalogs or maybe in form of controlled vocabularies. What um, if you say, okay, um, this uh, way that uh, Wikidata handles things is very nice, uh, but we would like to run our own version of Wikidata. Turns out you can. The software behind it uh, is called Wikibase and you can open your own um, editable uh, structured database uh, based on the same technology as Wikidata using Wikibase. So Wikibase is um, um, a set of uh, functions uh, that you can use to create and manage your uh, knowledge base. Uh, you can very easily uh, define your own properties and uh, create your own ontology or vocabulary. It has a nice and modern JavaScript-based user interface. Um, so it's a little bit more Web 2.0 than um, something that you might have seen on, on, on Wikipedia, for instance. Um, we uh, take uh, knowledge diversity and multilinguality very seriously in our data model. Um, it is not only a, a system where you can have um, a key value store where every key just has one value, but you can have several values uh, right next to each other. Um, and you can uh, export the data in a number of structured formats to, like JSON, RDF, XML, N3, YAML, etc. And um, uh, if you install your own Wikibase, um, of course, you get the magic of that Sparkle service, a Sparkle query service that I talked about earlier. To put it simply, um, with the Wikibase, you can order things in the world and uh, you can make them readable and queryable for machines and you can link between things and concepts and build the semantic web and do it the wiki way. Um, that means it is better to start with something and then refine over time than uh, uh, to lock yourself in, in a room and come up with uh, the perfect model uh, to explain everything in the world um, during, I don't know, six months and then uh, have it clash with reality later, but uh, rather start with something and uh, be free to always change things. So um, a, uh, an item in, in uh, Wikibase uh, or on Wikidata, which is the largest installation of uh, um, Wikibase, uh, 
um, usually looks like this. So you will have something that you want to talk about, like uh, San Francisco that has uh, the item number Q62, all the items start um, uh, with a number, and then you uh, um, uh, have statements about that item. Uh, you will have a property like San Francisco has a mayor, San Francisco has a location, and then you have the data type of geolocation, or it has a population, and then the data type for that would be um, a, a number. Or uh, the most interesting case is if these items link to other items, making it linked data. And uh, then, of course, uh, these items uh, can have other information, and slowly but surely, you're building your uh, semantic web in, in your uh, Wikipedia installation. So uh, it is ideal for, for structured data um, where you want to uh, be flexible um, and uh, want your data to be editable. Um, uh, if, um, to give you an example, when we started out uh, with Wikidata, um, humans uh, would have a, a property of uh, sex or gender. And in the beginning, there were only two um, values that were possible for, for that property. But uh, right now, there are over, I think, 23 um, uh, possible values. Uh, so you don't have to have your complete data model once you start, but you can always um, um, enhance it and enrich it. Um, it is ideal for, for applications like catalogs, authority files, controlled vocabularies, um, and um, uh, through all these um, Sparkle linking to other databases, uh, using uh, URLs as uh, uh, things uh, that you would link to. Um, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a solution for linked open data uh, with a nice MediaWiki interface and a, a Sparkle query service. And uh, that's uh, probably the reason why it is uh, of so much interest uh, to various libraries. Uh, two of the bigger ones that we're working with is uh, the German National Library, the Deutsche Nationalbibliothek, DNB. And uh, over the course of last year, they have evaluated Wikibase um, as the software for their authority file, uh, the Gemeinsame Normdatei, or GND which is the authority file for the German-speaking world. Uh, the French National Library, uh, the Bibliothèque Nationale de France, um, is working on two projects uh, at the moment where they are uh, evaluating uh, Wikibase um, to use um, for uh, an authority file that uh, would uh, work um, yeah, for, for all of France. Um, that is together with uh, another institution that exists in France, ABES. Um, and they are also using it, and that is uh, very interesting for cataloging. Um, and uh, yeah, FNE um, and uh, Noemi are the two projects that deal with that authority file exploration and the cataloging using Wikibase, uh, respectively. Uh, but it is not only used in, in libraries. Uh, it is also used uh, as a way to structure your knowledge uh, in fields like science. Um, there is uh, a standard for um, yeah, biodiversity data uh, called ABCD, Access to Biological Collection Data, that was originally uh, done in XML and is now um, collaboratively developed uh, by the scientific community uh, using a Wikibase installation. Um, and there, is, uh, there are um, small digital humanity projects. One of uh, them is called uh, FactGrid, uh, where Dr. Olaf Simons um, at uh, the University of uh, Erfurt in Germany uh, has created a knowledge base for historians. Um, and he originally started out with uh, scanned documents uh, from the historical order of the Illuminati, but it has grown beyond that. It has become a knowledge base for all kinds of uh, historical documents um, and the metadata on that. Rhizome is another example uh, in the field of uh, galleries, libraries, archives, and museums. Uh, it is a uh, initiative that is connected uh, to the new museum um, in New York City. Um, and they collect digital art and uh, try to um, 
yeah, uh, try to structure that. Uh, and um, conventional museum uh, database software didn't cut it for them. Um, it would ask questions like, uh, is this a painting or a performance? Um, whereas uh, for them, they needed different kinds, uh, different uh, properties to describe uh, the items in their collection. So for, uh, for instance, sometimes the programmer of this uh, digital art uh, experiment um, was the same as the artist. Sometimes the artist and the programmer uh, differed and they wanted uh, to have a knowledge base um, that would uh, let them be much more flexible and uh, choose uh, just the properties that they want while they were exploring their collection. And uh, there's also a very interesting uh, wiki base experiment um, that is um, called Lingua Libre that collects uh, uh, text and audio for, for languages all over the world. Uh, uh, basically, it's a collection of uh, recordings of native speakers uh, recording words, uh, and uh, um, they use uh, wiki base as, uh, as the basis for that. So, Wikibase um, is not only free and open software that you can install at uh, your library, at your institution, but uh, once you start playing with it, uh, you will become hopefully part of something that we call the Wikibase ecosystem, um, where interlinked Wikibases talk to each other. Now, this sounds uh, uh, very science fiction and um, yeah, uh, the term that we use for that is federation. That uh, almost sounds like Star Trek. Um, but uh, what we mean by that is uh, that uh, federated wiki bases uh, will uh, link to each other, link to the contact, uh, content that they have, and maybe even reusing uh, some of the vocabulary and uh, some of the properties that are defined on another wiki base. And of course, you could query that. To, to give you an example, maybe you want to uh, start a query uh, on your own wiki base that um, uh, deals with your library collection, uh, but you want to get uh, the big numbers, uh, the, the general encyclopedic knowledge uh, from Wikidata, um, and um, also something specialist from a, from a special literature database that is also queryable, and then have this all returned in, in one query. Or um, you want to start uh, building your own ontology and you think that um, the ontology that is used on Wikidata is a good start and you would, redu uh, would like to uh, reuse parts of it. Um, so when we're talking about uh, federation, different people mean uh, different things by that. Um, one aspect is uh, this federated querying, which is already possible, where you can use uh, several endpoints um, for your querying and have it all returned and uh, integrated in one answer. That uh, is something that works on uh, Wikidata and on your own Wikibase installation as of today. Um, but we are also exploring currently uh, federated ontologies. Uh, so uh, at some point in this year, uh, the development team um, that is uh, behind the software uh, of Wikibase um, will come up uh, with a solution that will let you um, reuse uh, the properties that are used in Wikidata. So uh, you can then take everything that is defined on, on Wikidata, make it uh, your, vocabulary, your vocabulary on your Wikibase, and then refine it to better uh, make it fit your specialized purpose. Um, we might uh, also in the future look into uh, federating items. So uh, the things that are actually on um, uh, Wikidata, things that uh, uh, we, we say something about. Um, and uh, of course, there's an ongoing discussion, exploration. Um, some of the um, Wikibase users, some of the people in the larger Wikibase ecosystems will try out uh, our first attempt at this uh, federated uh, properties uh, later this year. So um, there is currently a Wikibase community uh, forming. Um, there are, um, 
very active discussions. Um, you should uh, consider joining that community uh, if you wanted to experiment uh, with Wikibase for your structured data. Um, and uh, um, we will have, uh, yes, uh, uh, regular calls for the community where you can uh, exchange uh, about uh, your best practices, about things that you do with Wikibase, uh, Wikibase and we'll announce that to you uh, if you yeah, subscribe to the relevant uh, mailing list. Uh, feel free to ask me about those. Um, in the life of a librarian, um, we uh, recently had a workshop with the Smithsonian uh, Institution Libraries uh, and uh, we looked at uh, how a typical workflow would be for a librarian that wanted to use uh, Wikibase. Um, so everything that can be expressed in uh, Wikibase um, is uh, very similar um, to the relations that we'll find in RDF or, or BibFrame. Um, um, Mark 21, whatever structured data format you're using, it is usually in the form of uh, an item has a property and that property has a value. So uh, in this example, Douglas Adams Q42 was educated at, that is a property, uh, P69 St. John's College, which is another um, item uh, number in that. Uh, all of these items and properties are mapped to URIs or internationalized uh, resource identifiers actually uh, and you have uh, various data type literals for that that could be calendar dates, strings, um, it could also be uh, geolocation data. Um, I gave some of the examples in the query section uh, uh, at the start of the presentation. So uh, if you look at this uh, JSON uh, serialization of a, a big frame example, you see that a lot of that very readily maps uh, to the way that uh, Wikibase handles its structured data. You would have something like title and then the adventures of Oliver Twist. And uh, of course, mappings like that are pretty straightforward. Uh, you would just uh, create a, a new property with the English label title uh, and uh, have the data type monolingual text or string. Uh, it's important that these data types cannot be changed later. Um, so at this point of creating your ontology, you would have to uh, invest uh, some um, um, time to, to think about how you want to order that. Um, and then uh, you can create it. It's a wiki where you can, um, uh, given the right uh, access, uh, you can just create uh, 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 properties just like that. Um, they can also take uh, other uh, items as values and uh, this is of course uh, something that comes very easily uh, for Wikibase. Uh, so you would just, in that case, create your um, property with the data type item and also create the items uh, that this uh, property links to. Um, it is good practice uh, that your first property in Wikibase uh, uh, is, is something that is same as and uh, um, given the data type URL, uh, in that case you can uh, create a, a link data vocabulary where you say um, this property that I'm now talking about is the same as uh, uh, the property uh, described in Wikidata or in some uh, standardized uh, uh, format uh, or vocabulary and uh, you would give the respective uh, URL to link to that property. Um, of course, uh, the things that you can do with Wikibase go beyond uh, simple mapping. Um, there are some uh, features in the Wikibase software that um, I would love to talk about uh, a lot more um, and um, things like uh, multilinguality that I've uh, mentioned several times. Uh, you have uh, things like a revision history, just like in, um, in, a, in a media wiki installation like uh, Wikipedia, you can always see who did what at what time. Um, you can also say um, that uh, statements have uh, ranks, uh, so you can say this is a, uh, is a preferred statement, this has a normal rank, or this is a deprecated statement. And of course, uh, you can not only make statements, but you can also give the references uh, to say, uh, where is this uh, statement actually, um, where does it come from? Uh, where is it stated in, in what source? So uh, in conclusion, and uh, I hope we have uh, 
some more minutes for a question and answer, you can use uh, Wikibase uh, to make your library data linked open data. It's a, a ready-made uh, software solution for that, uh, that comes with a very enthusiastic uh, um, community that uh, loves everything that is open in this world. Um, and uh, it would be nice if you would join us. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always uh, ask me in the QA, but you uh, are more than welcome to, to email me um, at uh, Jens Ohlich at uh, Wikimedia.de. With that, uh, thank you very much for listening. Thank you, Jens. That was a really fascinating presentation. Um, if you have questions, um, feel free to put them into the Q&A right now, and I'll read them to Jens. We have a few in there right now. Um, our first one comes um, from Lynette, she's wondering, in our cache triple source system, we originally had a hybrid query model that used Lucene to get a set of search results and Sparkle to get details, but it was not performant. We switched to all Lucene and greatly improved performance. How have you found performance of Sparkle for complex queries that return large amounts of data? Uh, yeah, that's a very good question. Um, so uh, performance uh, continues. Uh, to be a problem. I think um, the, um, the knowledge base that we have with the Sparkle uh, query endpoint uh, for Wikidata is uh, rather big. Uh, I, um, I don't know if there are that many uh, knowledge bases that have like 90 million uh, items in that uh, that can be queried. Uh, and we see a lot of, um, uh, we see it stalling. Um, there is uh, continuously, um, we're continuously working on tweaking the performance of that. Uh, I think uh, we solved a lot of the uh, fundamental problems with that, but yes, uh, it's going to be tricky. Um, however, I think um, if you have a wiki base that is uh, smaller, and I almost, uh, I'm almost sh certain that your wiki base installation would be smaller than the uh, 90 million items that we have in the wiki data, um, you should be fine by now. But uh, yes, uh, it is something to look out for. It is something that we're uh, constantly working on. Great. Um, there's a related question to that, um, which is, what is your experience regarding performance in querying federated wiki bases? Say you want to query 10 wiki bases, how long does it take for the results to come back, would you say? Uh, Given that we are in an exploration phase for that, uh, uh, I, I wish I had hard numbers. Um, uh, this is something that we're currently, currently exploring. I think that is uh, way too concrete uh, of a question uh, for, for, for the state that we're in at the moment. All right. Uh, a couple other questions. Um, one is wondering if Wikibase has a development roadmap and if there is a link uh, to that. Oh, yes, uh, yes, we have a development roadmap. Uh, we are very open uh, with that. I think I, um, I don't have the, the link uh, on the top of my head now, uh, but I can find it very easily. Um, so yeah, it's a free and open uh, project, open source uh, project. We are super transparent about everything. I will share it uh, in the Slack channel, uh, if that is uh, an option. Um, yeah, that'd, be, that'd be great. Um, and then a more general question, um, what, are, what would you say are the best ways to join the Wikibase community? Are there listservs or other groups you would recommend? Yes, there is a mailing list um, that I would recommend. Uh, I think I would also, um, um, uh, yeah, uh, would also share the, the address of the uh, Wikibase uh, user group mailing list there. Um, I think the very best starting point is our brand new uh, revamped uh, website that we have, wikibay.se. So it's Wikibase, uh, but uh, with a dot in front of the SE of the end. Um, and uh, that should uh, give you all the starting points uh, that you need to join the community. I also saw that um, a lot of people asked me to speak uh, uh, slower and uh, uh, maybe spend more time on, on uh, specifics. This is um, in, in the half hour, uh, half an hour that I had, the 30 minutes, I wanted to put a lot of things uh, in it. Uh, and um, yeah, I'm, I uh, apologize if it was too fast. Uh, um, maybe this is mouth watering enough for you so you can uh, investigate. Uh, 
I could definitely talk about this for days and uh, hours, but uh, yeah. I don't doubt that. And the presentation will be recorded, so other people will have a chance to review the presentation later. Um, there's a couple of questions that are similar. Um, one is, which is, uh, what is the most important consideration to decide whether to put an, an institution's data in Wikidata or to make their own wiki base? Yeah, there are uh, several things that you want to consider with that. Um, if uh, it is of more value that uh, the Wikidata community does something with your data and if it's, uh, it should be um, uh, very visible for everyone and uh, um, people can work and correct your data, then Wikidata is the right place. Uh, if for some reason you want to restrict the number of people that uh, uh, can actually edit the data, maybe your own Wikibase installation is the better place. Um, but um, uh, yeah, in most cases, um, I think uh, maybe talk to the community, maybe write to me and uh, uh, we can discuss the various options. Um, there's a question about uh, open refine integration for Wikibase. Yes, uh, the good uh, news about that is we're working on that. So there um, is a feature that is uh, in the works right now um, where um, Wikibase would uh, um, show its configuration to the world, and that is the building block that we need. So open refine can work on uh, Wikibase. Um, yeah, expect uh, something new about that later this year. Great, that's great news. Um, Les, okay, a couple more questions coming in. Um, how about importing subsets of Wikidata into one's Wikibase? Yeah, there's, uh, there's a tool for uh, importing uh, subsets of uh, Wikidata. Um, there uh, is the whole uh, thing of um, mass and bulk imports. Uh, of um, data into your Wikibase installation. All of that is something where we are actively working on things uh, at the moment. There are some solutions uh, for that. You can uh, write a Python script. We also bundle um, um, a version of quick statements where you can bulk upload things um, with Wikibase. And there is a, a dedicated script to import uh, Wikidata uh, items into, into Wikibase that uh, is part of the software. Yeah. But um, uh, yeah, expect some, some rough edges with that. Not all of that is uh, in a state uh, where I would say it's, it's easy for everyone to handle. All right, um, last call for questions. All right, thank you again, Jens, for that very illuminating presentation. Uh, we will make this recording available as soon as we can. Thank you very much for having me. It was uh, very nice. Thank you. And uh, yeah, um, have, uh, have a successful conference, everyone. Thank you.